you can see in the background here, it's June 1st. We planted on the 22nd of May and our corn has germinated. We had that inch and a half rain, some 80 degree days, and it really made it pop. So you can look down there and see the efforts, what we've done. Uh, it would be nine days ago. So, uh, and I tell you what, I'm just as happy with new crop as I ever am with killing any animal. Some people might think that that can't be at a hunter, but when you put your back to something and your mind to it, and you uh, put a crop in the ground, and you get it to germinate, that alone is a reward. Your imagination is what will come of that, and only nature knows. But, uh, I'll pan around here a little bit. The rows, quite a few of them, and uh, like I say, that's nine days of being in the ground, and you got germination. And only time will tell what will come of it, but it's in the ground. Beans have germinated too. And as you can see, there's a weed growth growing in there between the rolls. So we will have to be getting the sprayer ready to rock and roll. The corn's got to get up about four or five inches. And uh, we want to make sure we get those beans or those weeds attacked as small as they are. They're vulnerable right there, and we can wipe them out pretty good. This is Roundup Ready decob corn, so uh, that's why we go with the Roundup Ready product to uh, wipe those out. For you that are skeptical on the beans, there you go. They germinated and came in real good. And uh, timely weather patterns is a, a must. It's June 5th. This clover is calf high. It's taller than these boots. Actually, it's longer than I wanted it. A lot of people ask me, when do you mow your clover? You need to mow it in the summertime at least once. The farmers mow their hay, which clover is basically a hay. They mow it three times. They're mowing the first cutting right now. That's when you should be cutting it. Now, it also depends on the age structure of your plot. If it's just planted, then let it get some growth to it. Now, we're going to walk this field because you've seen last week when we were down here, the, the wildlife were laying in it. We don't want to have a bad happening. But it needs to get mowed because i got a lot of tall grass down there. This end up here is, is super. That end down there got ahead of me. Um, and nothing I can do about it now. Now if it's extremely hot, forgo your mowing. Just don't mow. But it, we're going to have a few cool evenings and a cool uh, mornings to, to uh, get this stuff revived after we mow it. But it needs to be mowed. It, clover does not need to reseed itself. These blooms right here are not essential for clover. Matter of fact, it's actually take some of the strength away from some of the palatability. Uh, at, you know, that's what Whitetail Institute says, not just Don Mealy, non-typical Norwalkian. A lot of guys want to know when you spray, if you put a new plot in, as soon as you get weeds two, four inches tall, spray them. I got grass down there that's way too tall. Your Arrest Max, Super Max is not going to kill it. Uh, it's not meant to kill it that tall. What I do is I'm going to mow this off, let it get grown again, and then get in here and spray. I, I got out of sync. I couldn't get here this spring. Way, way too busy. But today we're going to mow this off, and uh, I'll walk the plot, and we'll go walk down through here and see if we kick up any newborn wildlife. Yeah, another thing, being this crop is so tall, I'm mowing it with my a bigger tractor, and I'm going to set the uh, rotary mower real, real high. Uh, just to clip the tops off. But you see this grass right here? This grass, when it gets this tall, you're asking a lot for your herbicides um, to control that. You put it on when that grass is two, three inches tall, it'll kill it. But down here on this end, I don't know 
what I got going down here, but I can get it in the control. I just gotta I gotta get it mowed off and then once it starts growing again then I'm going to come in and and uh, um, spray it. Getting a little warm down here. <laughs> Brain goes dead. But I'm walking around here hopefully try to make a lot of noise. Maybe I'll scare if there's something in here. But see, this is the problem. And I may pull some of this out. So I think I'm gonna, I can go spot to spot. You, you know, the herbicide, if I can get a lot of that pulled out of there, that will set it back. It's pretty tall. I think I can pull some of it out before I mow it. Because here is the main culprit. When you mow this, this right here is as tall as my head. All you're go that's going to go to seed, and all you're going to do is spread those seeds into your plot. But, uh, so, I say I'll walk around in here. Oh boy, there's a bull thistle up here. Yeah, oh, yeah, don't want that in there. Oh, well, that you definitely don't want. You know, that's a noxious weed, and uh, that thing really got growing. <laughs> it's a Canadian bull thistle. You don't you want to get them out of there. Yeah, I'm going to pull some of these weeds out, some of these clumps of grass, see how it goes. Not too bad. That's not too bad. That went pretty fast. We got the roots and everything. And that's a lot simpler than putting uh, a spray product on it. So I'm gonna get at it and get some more of this pulled out. But you can see how you can do that firsthand. <sighs> gonna go get my Maddox and chop them out. If y'all ever see one of these tools in a garage sale, it's an ass. A is, you know, as, not axe, as. It's not a pick. What this used to be was a woodworking tool. And they used to hollow out the canoes and notches in the cabins with them. They're, they were a real good, because you just chip the wood right out. I've been using these for almost five decades to move dirt with. The trick to it is this curved handle. You've probably seen on television when people are out working in third world countries using something of this sort. Most people back here in this country don't even know what they're for. So it is a woodworking tool but it works good, good in the dirt. Anyhow, if you see one at the garage sale, flea market or something, grab it. Still replaceable. And I'll show you how fast it works. Got the whole root. You got everything. Two simple wax. The root system's out of there. So, here's what it looks like. The curved handle is the trick. Straight handle ain't worth a damn. That's a pick. This is an as. A woodworking tool turned into a dirt working tool. Pick one up. You know, some people probably think I'm crazy for spending all this time out here on a food plot that is going to get consumed by nature. But I don't see it a waste of time. What I see is a waste of time and it eats their own. It's a waste of time that people sit in a tattoo parlor and have somebody scribble on them and then get up and pay them and this my reward for this is when I see the wildlife grazing on a weed clean field and uh, didn't cost me anything either so I guess this is my vice hard work and uh, my toughness and my attitude comes from in here I don't wear it out here yeah people ask me how do you get connected to your land? 
Well, you get right out here and you get a hold of it. When I was 15 years old, you was throwing hay bales on daylight today if it was dry. You try to have the youth today throw hay bales, they'd lock you up for child abuse. I'm going to show you how you get a hold of your ground. Right here. You're connected. That's how you all get connected. Right there. You take her by the hair of the head and yank it out. Some of you people, good friends up in Canada, can't use a glass plate, they can't buy it. This is the alternative, manual labor. Used to pick cotton in this country, a lot hotter, paid a whole lot less. This don't pay nothing. But picking cotton, you had to pay the owner. Let's go get that big old nasty thistle out of there. Get a big old thistle. Ow. Leather gloves are a must. Want to get that dang root too. So there you go. We got him out of there. That ass come in handy. We got the root system out. Yeah, you take a little clover out when you're doing that. But it's worth it because it'll grow right back. But uh, you don't want these on your property. They're really invasive and they can take over a field or anything overnight. Matter of fact, subject to a fine here in Clark County, if you don't take care of your thistles, the county will send a weed patrol out and they'll charge you for it. So good stewardship. Get these kind of guys out of there. Would you rather see me on a 3D archery course on a day like today, poking holes in styrofoam and uh, with the latest, greatest equipment, or just doing old fashioned hard work land management that you all can do and wildlife will benefit from the ones that you hunt and the ones that you don't hunt. Uh, we almost got it wrapped up a little bit farther, I'll be in the shade and it's all downhill. Well, you all ain't gonna believe this. This has just been my luck of late. This is a 1900 Sony camcorder laying out in that mess somewhere. I have no idea how I'll ever find it. So I'll walk back up there. By the grace of God, I'll find it. If not, you could, I don't know. It was, I think I walked a straight path down through here. I'll try to walk a straight path back up there. Forgot to zip the lid. Oh well, shit happens. Yeah, I had everything laying right there. I walked from up there, black. <laughs> oh. Maybe this was the path I walked out and walked down. I don't know. It could be down in there. All I can hope for is it laid on top. But what are you gonna do? Are you gonna lay out here and ain't gonna lay out here and do it any good and you're gonna run over it. That's almost a certainty. Well, uh, had to walk around in here anyway, so I yeah, walk around in here and find a camera. Or, oh man! Oh well, you've seen it live. <laughs> I 
I don't, the odds of me finding that camera laying in this. We'll go up here where we started. Oh, get in a hurry, get in a hurry, get in a hurry. Right in here is where we started. We had the camera set up in here. Fell out where the second, fell out where the second one was. Oh, wow. you seen that live, and I'm not, you know, <laughs> I was like, what was the chances of finding that? But I found it, right along with you. <laughs> 